a solid cylinder of radius r is just rolling down this horizontal plane and then comes a bend at an angle alpha so what should be the maximum value of v naught which still permits the cylinder to roll so what we don't want a cylinder to break contact at this point what we want is is it continues to roll down the slope so without a jump so jump again means if something is jumping off that means n becomes zero so we don't want that we don't want n to become zero so what is the maximum value of v naught for that so of course we will we will see at what value of v naught n becomes just as zero that will be the maximum value of v naught now as it rolls down on above on this uh, slope momentarily this point will be the instantaneous axis of rotation so this point of that sphere will be at rest and the whole sphere will simply rotate about this point like this and then it will continue to roll on the slope so what we want is normal reaction during this whole process to be not zero so at what point normal reaction might become zero we don't know that so let's take a random angle theta and find out what will be the normal reaction when it has turned by an angle theta so for that we need two things first is we need the velocity so that we can find the inward acceleration to be mv square by r and then when we write the the forces on this sphere along this direction along the direction where uh, which is normal that is the point joining the center and point o so in that direction only normal reaction will occur so we are going to write the force equation in that direction so again we are going to do two things first is we are going to find the velocity and second we are going to write the force in this direction which joins the center and the o and let's say it has turned an angle theta by then something similar which uh, sim something similar to this we have done in the previous problem 1.263 so there also we assume that the top sphere had rolled by an angle theta and that time with that line joining the center and the point of contact so we balanced the not balanced we did f is equal to ma along that line so that's what we are going to do here and just like in the previous problem we are going to get velocity from energy conservation and then along this line we are going to write mg cos theta minus n is equal to mv square by r and we will do n is equal to 0 just like previous problem so let's do it cylinder will roll with instantaneous axis of rotation o so by energy con conservation work done by gravity is equal to delta ke now you can see the center has come down by so this distance is r this is also r so component of that will be r cos theta so the center of gravity has fallen by r minus r cos theta so mgr 1 minus cos theta this is the work done by gravity is equal to change in kinetic energy so final kinetic energy is half i naught v by r whole square so this is about o because because it is having the pure rotation about o we don't need to add half mv square anymore so about this point o if it is io then final kinetic energy is half io v by r whole square and initial kinetic energy also we can write about point o when it was on the surface so that time it was half io v naught by r whole square now io for a cylinder will be mr square by 2 plus mr square that is 3 by 2 mr square so this is our first equation that relates v square and cos theta now force equation along this line line joining the center and the point of contact so mg cos theta minus n is equal to mv square by r or n is equal to mg cos theta minus mv square by r now here you can see that if cos theta increases then n decreases which means it has to turn maximum angle and then the value of n will be minimum so again this is the term which we got n is equal to mg cos theta minus mv square by r so here n will decrease if theta increases 
and also if v increases. So n is minimum at maximum value of theta, that is alpha. So this is geometry. If this angle is alpha, the maximum angle it can turn is also alpha. So therefore, n just becomes zero when theta is equal to alpha. We get the maximum value of v naught at which it won't jump. So in this equation, we are we want to minimize n and that should be zero. And that will occur when theta is equal to alpha and v v we are going to find from this equation. So let so let's solve it. So solving one and two with n is equal to zero and theta is equal to alpha. So now we have two equations and two variables theta and v because n we are taking as zero. So we do that and we get uh, mgr1 minus cos theta is equal to half i naught by r square into this term. i naught we put as this. So this will give v naught is equal to root 7 cos theta minus 4 gr by 3. Actually this theta should be alpha. It's a silly mistake. Otherwise this is the answer. This is the v naught. Maximum v naught at which it will continue to roll down the slope without jump. Alright.